Hey, thanks for watching this week's God is CEO Midweek Encourager. We're here to encourage you, energize you, and equip you to bring glory to God in all of your work. What should I pray for? And I'm on my way to work. In our last session, we looked at the Lord's Prayer, Jesus giving us a model of, hey, here's what we want you to pray for on a regular basis. And we saw at the beginning of the Lord's Prayer that Jesus was orienting us, that it'd be Godward focused prayer, that we pray that God would be praised and honored through us each and every day, that his kingdom and his purposes would be accomplished among us. Now, as we continue in the Lord's Prayer in Luke chapter 11, we see that Jesus changes the focuses now and says, hey, I want you to start praying for these things that really impact your daily life. And so we think about praying for our work, Let's not skip past what Jesus models for us in the Lord's Prayer. What should we pray for in regards to our work? We should pray for God's provision. In Luke chapter 11, Jesus says this in the prayer, pray, give us each day our daily bread. Jesus teaching us that our daily provision is dependent upon our heavenly Father. So often many of us think, well, my hands did that, my mind did that, when in reality it's God gave us the ability to do that. It's very easy to think it's us doing that. And so why should I ask God for customers or why should I ask God for product when I'm the one doing that? The reality is this, it's dependent upon God's provision. In James chapter four, uh, he's given the example, some people say they're going here, going there, doing this or doing that. In James chapter four, it reminds us that only if the Lord wills it, will that happen? In other words, it's dependent upon the provision of God. So the number one thing that you and I should pray for is this, God, would you provide customers today? Maybe you're in the mortgage business, maybe you're building homes, maybe you're selling cars. What do you pray for? God, would you bring customers today? God, would you give me favor in this business as we work towards uh, serving other people in this way? Whatever it might be, you're asking God for God's provision. As God's people were traveling through the desert, they were moving into the promised land. They, they were looking for provision, literally food every single day. And they started to complain a little bit like, where's our food going to come from? And their leaders reminded them that God is the provider. God provided daily bread, literally manna from heaven that came each and every day. And they were reminded that God was the provider. And when they got in trouble is when they forgot that God was the provider. They got in trouble when they said, I don't know if God's going to provide tomorrow, so I'm going to take some of the stuff we have right now and store some of it for tomorrow just in case, when in reality, God is the provider. And when they stored it, what happened? Maggots came on that daily manna. See, they should have been each and every day saying, give us this day our daily bread, rather than depending upon their strength and their abilities. And so today, for your business, for your company, have you asked for God's provision? Have you said, God, I ask today that you'd bring the necessary customers. God, I ask that today you would give us the product that is needed. Turn to God in prayer today and ask for God's provision. So that's the prayer guide is that we had asked for God's prayer. And when we pray that way, we also are reminded of an important truth. The important truth is this, is that God is the provider. And when we remember this truth that God is the provider, then when provision comes, we give praise in the appropriate place. When we're reminded that God is the provider, when provision comes, we give praise to the appropriate place. In Psalm 104, it says this, He makes makes grass grow for the cattle and plants for people to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth, wine that gladdens human hearts, oil to make their faces shine, and bread that sustains their hearts. It's in this middle of the psalm in Psalm 104. It's reminding us of who the Creator is and what the Creator provides for us. And so today, I want to encourage you and I to ask God for provision for our work, for our companies. There's nothing wrong with asking God to provide customers, with asking God to provide jobs, to provide product, whatever it might be. Today, ask God for provision, and then when provision comes, give God praise for that provision. Thanks for watching this week's Guide to CEO Midweek Encourager. Go forth, ask the great provider to provide for your business today.